Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very interesting video today. Initially, I would like to say thank you everyone to send emails and ask me what is happening. I am sorry that I have been away for a few days, but um, um, this semester has been very tough. Uh, teaching time has been very tough and, and I didn't have so much time to keep uh, the track and keep doing all the activities here in YouTube. And especially, I am really sorry because I have this amazing device here at the lab and I didn't have time enough to prepare this video. I am sorry that I took so much time, but it's time to introduce you to the most amazing device that I've seen in recent time, and that is the Red Seat 40 from ABB. To be honest, this is a brand new device from ABB. This is a step forward from ABB uh, going forward for the digital area at Substation, specifically for distribution application. I think this device is brand new. It's coming this year, early this year. I'm not sure. I believe ABB launched this, this device at uh, March or April this year, 2020, and it is an amazing device. It's basically what they call all-in-one protection. Well, it's not all-in-one protection because this device is protection and control and also communication. This is a very well-equipped equi uh, equi uh, device, okay? This is a very well-equipped device. Well, but let's, before we start, remember, uh, this device is, is just a video that I create for, uh, for demonstrative purposes to show you the main features. And this video is not intended to be a substitute of the official ABB documentation, official ABB uh, and videos, okay? Um, this video is basically to help you to improve your speed, your learning speed, okay? And especially this is intended for people that they don't have uh, a solid understanding and advanced understanding about power system protection. This is basically for a um, bachelor degree or master degree students that they are interested on uh, hands in protection. Well, but today we have a very exciting video. Today I am doing just a short introduction and then we will go around the ref, the red 640, okay? Uh, and this device, ABB, came with the name All-in-One Protection for any power distribution. And, and to be honest, this is a step forward from ABB in the Relayon family. And this is a device that is very compact and is, uh, it has a very modular design. This modular design allows you to um, make changes and improvement over the time on a enhancing the features, okay? It's not only the hardware, it's also the flexibility that is coming with the software. This device is a matching between hardware and software. You can uh, you can upgrade this device, including more, uh, more, um, more features using hardware, using those uh, base, or you can also enhance functionality by using software package, okay? <clears throat> all, of, all of this is to say this is a very, very complete device for distribution systems, okay? Um, and one very interesting feature that I will be discussing is the very interesting point about the 7-inch um, touch screen, and that is delightful. That is something that is coming in the new era. Uh, power systems are moving to the digital era, and also the users, they must have a better experience. I love that the ABB and also other manufacturers, they are pushing the board and trying to bring the most advanced uh, technology for the devices, okay? 
But today I will talk about just the um, protection functionalities. Okay, this device is coming with a basic package. Okay, you can have this device with the basic package, and there is a basic protection functions over there, including overcurrent. Okay, in, uh, specifically the overcurrent, instantaneous time, and also directionality function. Okay, function. But also this device is coming with supervision functionalities, measurement functions function, circuit breaker control that is very important and also this connector control function, okay? And and also that something that is very impressive, this device is also designed for supporting um, the brand new communication protocols, okay? This device is able to work with the already defined six one a five zero but also this device is coming with uh, functionalities to use the ic six zero a seven zero um well, I was talking about the basic functionalities that you can find in this relay. However, you can enhance the functionalities of this relay with some packages. And you can, for instance, if you are using feeder protection, this device also you can use the location the several packages, including the including the line differential protection, the line distance protection, the interconnection protection, and full allocation. Okay. This is very impressive for a distribution system. Also, this device is equipped with uh, power transformer protection, the classical differential protection for the two winding transformer, but also APB include here in this RED640 functionality for the very interesting problem when you have the three winding differential protection, okay? Um, as you must be aware, three winding pro differential protection is quite interesting in terms of currents and zero sequence but in also, this device has controllers that enable the own low tap changer, okay? Uh, from the machine point of view, this device has functionality for uh, machine protection, including asynchronous machine and synchronous machine. That means this device is already uh, prepared for if you, if you have some uh, distribute uh, generation. Uh, one interesting thing that I love in this device is also having functionality for shunt, car, uh, shunt capacitor, bus bar protection, and automatic synchronization, okay? This device is coming also with the controller for automatic synchronization, and that is a plus, okay? Finally, there are two interesting functionality. One of them I will be covering in one very specific video, and that is the Peterson coil control. Okay, uh, Peterson coil is very famous if you have an ungrounded system and you want to create some control uh, the over voltages during the fault and you are using the Peterson coil. This device, the ABB Red C40, have the functionality for controlling this Peterson coil. And finally, as you must be aware, distribution level, we are very, very interested about safety and and it's a tendency in the protection system to include the very fast arc protection with supervised controls, okay? In this case, in this case, this device, the Red Seat 40 have the possibility to enhance the protection and the safety inside the substation by adding sensors uh, for our protection, okay? Um, well, another feature that I love is the local human machine interface. This device is bringing forward the use of the technology. I love that in a device. A device must be modern, must be brilliant, must, be, must include the most recent advances in technology. And um, the human machine interface using a seven inch high resolution color screen, touch screen is impressive, okay? It's capacitive touch screen, and, but it's amazing. It's very brilliant, it's very sensitive. You can control the sensitivity. Also, it's very responsive, intuitive, and that is user-friendly. I'd say that is user-friendly. 
my students will be using this device and they will be amazed with that, okay? Brilliant colors and very amazing icons that make very simple for the students use this device. And, and there are other functionalities about this touch screen, but I prefer to do a specific video just talking about the human machine interface. Human machine interface is what makes the users happy. And that is important and that ABP take care of them, adding this functionality. It's, it's very, very sad that we, we are still having very bad human machine interfaces, but ABP here, they did very well. And well, it's time that we go and touch the device, okay? Right now, what I will do is I will go with a very quick around and uh, around this device, okay? I am sorry, but this is aluminum case relay. It's solid, that is between seven to eight kilograms, just the uh, main uh, bots, okay? Because also we have the human machine interface that is 1.6 kilograms, okay? For that reason, I will do, in so I will do some uh, workout here, moving around the circuit breaker, okay? Well, let's go to, sorry, the relay. Let's go to the relay and walk around and show you some uh, features, okay? Well, here we are. You can see this is the amazing main box for the Red 640. And this is a solid aluminum, well-prepared aluminum case with a very nice finish. You can see over here all the connections. They have very solid connectors over there. On the top, you can see the power, but also inputs and output and VT and CT connectors in white color. Then we have the other connectivity for the other boards. And finally, you can see here the communication. We have communication using Ethernet port and also a, a fiber optic, okay? Let me turn around here. We are looking to the label, the main label over here. You can see all the functionalities in this amazing device. The list is very long. You can see over here all the functionalities that they are included inside these amazing bots, okay? And, and this is a very solid construction. To be honest, I am really impressed about that. As you can see here and now, you can see the different base. You can see the different base starting from the number one going down. You can see CTVT and finally here communications, okay? Communications that they can be improved also to include the art protection, okay? But is an impressive design. And now, now you can see this is aluminum, Polish, Polish aluminum. This is a very brilliant um, finish for this device, okay? Right now, I am showing you what is the screen. This is the touch screen, seven inch. Of course, right now it's disconnected, but I want that you look at that. 1.6 kilogram, you can install this in any panel at your sewer station. And they are seven inches with this capacitor sensor, okay? We have a button over there, also a touch. As you can see here, there are some connectors. There are two Ethernet connectors, RG45 for connectivity, and then also USB connector, and finally the power, the power connector, okay? And this device is working between 25 volt up to 125 volts, okay? This is an amazing device, but that is all for now. Thank you. Well, I tried to do my best to finish this video in very short time and explain to you the main features. But this RED 640 is making protection very easy for the requirements, the new requirements that we are having at distribution system. This device is able to work with generation distribution system, but also allowing the most important transition to the digital era. I'm really, really surprised about 
how secure and flexible and standardized is the communication in this device. As I say before, this, this device is working with 6A50 uh, for edition one and two, but also is working with the IEC 60870 and other protocols like uh, Profibus or also DMP3. This device is very, very well organized, flexible and very easy to use. However, I will spend more time showing you how flexible and how easy to use is when I switch on this device and that is the reason for another video. I will show you very soon the very lovely human machine interface, the bright full color. Something that I love is when you are uh, when you are power, power up this device, when you switch on this device, you will see the welcome screen with the ABB logo, but also with very br brilliant and colorful screen, okay? Well, um, I am really happy that you watch this video. I, I hope you find this useful. And thank you all of you that send emails and asking what is going with me. I am fine, no worries. And we are moving forward, okay? Um, I, I promise that in the few days, I will be uh, showing you more videos about this uh, ABB Red 640. And also I receive more information about new products coming and uh, one of them, I will be giving you a surprise very soon. Well, um, this is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for, for subscribing to the YouTube channel and sending me feedback and your email. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.